Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. Many of my viewers and subscribers have requested me to design a business card in PowerPoint. So I have designed two different business cards. So I'm just going to show you. This is the first one, the front side of the business card. I have used two different colors uh, where you can see a light blue and a dark gray or uh, a black color. And then you can see here I have added the left side, the name the mobile number the email addresses and the location and on the right i have added the logo and the qr code to scan easily and this is the back side of the business card where i have just added the logo with the tagline and below the website uh, uh, details only and then the next design i have used here uh, with the uh, orange color combination and this time I have used the logo on the left side with the QR code and on the right side I have added the name, the, again the mobile number, email address and the location. So this is the front side and this is the back side of the design of the business card. So let's see how to create this beautiful business card design in PowerPoint. Open a blank presentation, go to design, slide size and select custom slide size generally the size of the business card is 3.5 into 2 inches so i'm just going to take 3.75 i'm including the cutting area also and the height i'm going to put as 2.25 and just say okay and you can click any of these maximize or unsure fit doesn't matter so i'll just say maximize and then you see here the size has reduced to 3.75 into 2.25 inches the next step is to define the cutting area for that go to insert shapes and select a rectangle draw the rectangle and give the height as 2 inches and the width as 3.5 inches go to align center and align middle shape fill make it no fill shape outline I'm going to make it a red color and I will give some dash lines and I'm going to make a weight a little bit 1.4 point so this area will get cut at the time of printing this is the cut line and then I'm going to add one more which is called the the safe area the safe area for the outline I'm going to give a green color and for this height will be 1.75 and width will be 3.25 then align center and align middle so whatever the content we have to place under this green area only and the red area this will be the borders and this will be cut while printing now we have defined the sizes now let's design the business card go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle full you can just make it maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and you can give some a dark color here and then if you have the logo you can insert the logo example I'm just going to insert shapes select an oval shape so here this place you need to insert your logo make it no outline and I'm going to fill with uh, orange color this is your logo let me reduce the size so you have to insert your logo here and then on this side you have to uh, enter your the name and the contact details and make sure that this is visible so that we are not going beyond the the safe zone so i'm just going to select this go to format 
and send this to back so I'm going to add the name here go to insert text box and type the name font I'm going to select the white color and the the good font for the business card will be like Helvetica I'm just going to type the name or I'll just say enter not enter I'll just say type your name generally the idle size for this would be like 10 So this is where you're going to type your name here and below you can add the designation control D and this size can be maybe 7 or your position your position I'm just going to make it right align and I'm going to put it here and then we can add the contact details before that I'm going to give some design here go to shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size and make sure that this is aligned middle and I'm going to give the same orange fill and shape outline make it no outline and then I'm going to give some uh, 3d effect here for that go to insert shapes select a right triangle draw the right triangle and this also give the same color and go to more fill colors and you can go to customs and give some darker shade for this shape outline make it no outline and rotate I will just say flip horizontal and press ctrl D bring it other side and paste it here and I'll just say flip vertical all right then you can add the telephone details here for this you need to add the icons to add the icons you can go to insert icons for this you need to have an active internet connection maybe you can select either this icon or I let me just go here technology can I see I can see a mobile icon here and then I need one more icon which is maybe communication I'll just select the the email icon I'll insert both I will keep it aside for the time being now I'm going to add uh, two small uh, rectangles here go to insert shapes and select a rounded corner rectangle maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white and select the mobile icon go to format graphics fill give the same color which is orange and reduce the size and put it here sorry put it here bring to front
and add one more box below control D to duplicate it so here this will be my for email go to format give the same gradient fill reduce the size and bring to front again I'm going to select this position press ctrl D and make it the left align and give your mobile number here for example I'll just say 1 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 whatever the mobile number you have if you have two mobile numbers you can give two mobile numbers also there and here you can give uh, email address email at gmail.com and if you want you can give the the website sorry I'll just bring it somewhat up press ctrl D and give your website also www.website.com sorry for that and align properly all this has to be aligned format align left so it's properly aligned and then you can add one more box for the address press ctrl D this one and this color I'm going to fill with orange and you need to insert the icon for the location go to icons so I have to select maybe buildings I don't know where it is available location yes and select this location and insert and make this graph fill as white reduce the size and then you can give your address here If you want you can give some shadow effect also if you like and then if you have the QR code you can add your QR code here you can go to Google and search for the QR code generator and you can copy your QR code which I already did here and I'm just going to add one more rectangle shape outline give this orange color and shape fill make it no fill and make sure that this and this are properly aligned so once this is done you can see here our our front design is almost ready now so let's see how to create the the back design now to add the the back side of the business card just right mouse click and just say duplicate slide and I'm going to remove this QR code and this black color I'm just going to extend to all the throughout the area and this logo has to be there and this one address and all those things I'm just going to delete and I'm going to delete the email address I'm going to delete the mobile number mobile icons this also 
the name and this I'm just going to bring it down and then reduce a little bit area this also you can just say send to back or send back only so that the line should be visible and here I'm just going to select the website only or if you want you can add some more details also exactly bring it in the center the logo has to be here again in the center and if you have any tagline or punch line you can just insert here for me I'm just going to have I'll just say why sorry why go anywhere else white color maybe 8 and again font will be Helvetica you have to make sure that throughout the business card design you have to use only one font don't go for multiple fonts so you can see here my design is almost ready the next thing is I'm just going to duplicate this again press ctrl D here I'm going to delete this cut line and the safe line from the both the front and the back of the cards so you can see here this is our design the front and the back and to save and give for the printing what you can do is you can just go to file save as you can save anywhere maybe in the download or somewhere and you can just give the name like business card and save as a PDF file if you can go to more options also and you can select some standard options like standard publishing online and printing or minimum size save it and that's it your PDF your business card is ready thank you very much that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye